If you use Windows on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, then make sure not to make this $200 mistake. If you haven't subscribed already, then please consider scrolling down and pressing the subscribe button. This will help you keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. It only takes a moment, but it really helps to support the channel and the work that I do. So one of the questions I get asked all the time is, do I need to buy Windows 11 and activate it in order to run a virtual machine on my M1 Mac? So if you didn't already know, it's possible to run Windows 11 ARM on Apple Silicon hardware using virtual machine software such as the free UTM or VMware Fusion, or by far the best option is going to be Parallels, which is powerful enough to be able to run several high-end Windows games, despite the fact that this is being run on a virtual machine. If you'd like to find out how to run Parallels or the other virtual machine software, please check out the link at the top of the description for my video tutorial. This is going to show you step by step how to set up Windows 11 ARM with Parallels and get plenty of games and applications working on it. So once you've set up Windows 11 ARM running through Parallels, what you're going to notice is that in the bottom right hand side of the screen, you're going to see this activate Windows watermark. And if you're playing an immersive game like Skyrim, you're going to be distracted by this watermark, which is going to overlay over absolutely everything. Secondly, if you want to do any kind of personalization, for example, changing the background, this won't be possible because you'll get this nag saying that you need to activate Windows before you can personalize your PC. So when I go to the activation screen on Windows 11, it's telling us that we have no valid product key on this device. So here we can press the change button here and we can enter a product key. So at the time of recording, Windows 10 and 11 Pro or Enterprise keys can actually be pasted into here and it will activate Windows 11 ARM. However, before you go ahead and make a mistake, please continue watching the video. I'm going to explain why activating is not necessarily going to make your Windows 11 ARM legal. I'm also going to show you some workarounds around how to get rid of the watermark and how to personalize your desktop. So please make sure to watch the video all the way to the end so that you don't waste any money buying a license that you don't really need. So when you actually come to download Windows 11 ARM from the Microsoft website, you'll see this section here which states that Windows 11 ARM is only supported on devices with the chipsets SQ1, SQ2 and also the Qualcomm Snapdragon. And that's because Qualcomm is an OEM, so that's an original equipment manufacturer and Microsoft currently has an exclusivity agreement with Qualcomm stating that Windows 11 ARM can only be installed on Qualcomm hardware. So therefore, if you're running Windows 11 ARM on M1 hardware, then you're not going to be in compliance with the Microsoft EULA. And Microsoft have also come out and said that running Windows 11 ARM on the M1 Mac is, quote, not a supported scenario. So if Windows 11 ARM isn't supported on the M1 Mac, then how do companies like Parallels get away with advertising full Windows 11 ARM support for their virtual machine software? And the way that Parallels get around this issue is that they pass on the responsibility of compliance back to the customer. And this is in stark contrast to their competitor VMware, who state that their decision not to support Windows 11 ARM is entirely driven by the fact that you cannot run Windows on ARM on a Mac and still be in compliance with Microsoft's EULA. So I definitely think twice before spending the money for a valid license, because it's not really going to bring you any closer to having a legal copy of Windows. And it could be a colossal waste of money. And that's because since the release of Windows 10, you don't need to activate or use a product key in order to make use of most of the core parts of the operating system. And the only things that you can't do are cosmetic, and I'm going to show you how to work around those issues. So the annoying watermark that comes on the bottom right hand side of the screen only actually appears when you've been using Windows 11 ARM for several hours. If you actually go ahead and restart the virtual machine, that watermark will disappear and will only come back after a few hours. And I don't really consider this a big inconvenience because you should be restarting regularly anyway. And secondly, if you want to be able to change the background, you can sort of still do that by right clicking on the desktop, going to personalize, and you can still change some of the default themes. So you can use a dark one if you prefer. And also there's a workaround to changing your wallpaper. So if you go to Explorer and then you find an image file that you want to change to, what you can do is to right click on that file, whether it's a JPEG or a PNG, and then you can click here, set as desktop background. So if I click this button and I can change it to whatever wallpaper I want without having to activate Windows. So lastly, if you want to get rid of these annoyances permanently and you don't want to pay full price for a Windows license, then what you can do is to turn to the grey market. So grey market Windows keys are basically keys that have been sourced from a country where Windows is sold at a very cheap price, for example in India, and they're basically resold to the Western market at a much lower price. I'm not going to link to these directly, you can find them easily online. Just be aware that you're dealing with a third party and if your key doesn't work for some reason, you'll have to deal with that third party probably in another country and you won't be dealing with Microsoft directly, so it really comes at your own risk. 
So anyway, this brings us to the end of the video and I'd love to hear what you decided to do. Did you activate Windows 11 ARM or did you use one of my workarounds? Please leave a comment below. And also, if you'd like to find out more about Microsoft's secret deal with Qualcomm and how this exclusivity period is probably going to end very soon and that we may see Bootcamp coming back in the very near future. So please check out that video. I've got lots of other Windows on Mac and Mac gaming tutorials on my channel, so please check it out. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.